Hey YouTube Rando here. So we have some new finds we wanted to share with you guys we picked up. Uh, not a whole lot, but a little bit. I was going to show the stainless steel shelves we were supposed to show last time. They're full of food now. I don't feel like going in there. But I did ha uh, find some cool stuff. You know, Walmart, I never... I don't guess it's going to pick up the whole box. Uh, Walmart, I never go into Walmart anymore. I quit sh shopping at Walmart like three or four years ago and I go in less than once a year, maybe once every 14 to 16 months, uh, somewhere in like that. I've only been in a handful of times since I quit going. Uh, I just hate Walmart. I hate the employees. They're always rude. And <coughs> but you can get some good deals at Walmart. And uh, we were getting some kids, getting the kids at school supplies or something along those lines is the only reason we were there. But I went to the ammo section, as I always do, and they had these... Uh, Plano boxes and they're not that big you can see in comparison to my hand it's not that big of a box it'd be perfect for like 22 uh, but they had them down to I think four dollars had a mark down to four bucks so I picked up their no I think we picked up four of them uh, but I'm gonna fill them with 22 and shotgun ammo I think that's perfect perfect size and it's full of ammo right now and usually there's a lot of flex in the lid when you fill them to the top with ammo and there's no flex in this one at all so it's not a bad box Plano makes a good box that's who makes all my uh, fishing tackle boxes um, also they had this ammo I've never seen it before I've never used it before I always buy federal or something along those lines Remington whenever I'm just buying target rounds but they had these and these were cheaper than the Federal or the Remington. I want to say they were four ninety nine a box or something along those something along those lines. They weren't they weren't expensive. Uh, five bucks, five bucks a box, and I think the Federal was running like six something or something like that. Uh, Twenty five round boxes. So I picked up a couple of them. It's two and three quarter. There you go. Well, I tell you, I'll just show you all the info. Picked up some of those. Uh, picked up some different kind of ammo too. I paid five bucks for that. I want to say the price was like seven ninety nine or something. They weren't cheap. It's a uh, Red Fire hunting hunting pellets, one seventy seven seven point eight grams. Uh, it says it has like a uh, polymer tip or something like that. I don't know. I've never messed with them before. I've never shot them before, but I thought it was kind of cool. And like I said, I think they were right around the same price as the shotgun shells. They were like five bucks. So I picked up a box of them. And what they weren't super cheap, but I don't know. I just thought I would check them out. We'll probably do a, a shot test with them and see what they do to a piece of like three quarter inch plywood, something like that, half inch, quarter inch, do some different different size woods and see what kind of damage it does next to a uh, regular pellet. I need to find the Benjamin and break it out. Oh, I got a couple of new kits. I got these on trade uh, from a young man here on YouTube, Jason McDaniel. Uh, I'm going to actually do a video on these. Uh, we'll just make one video and do both tens. Uh, this is a little survival kit he makes, and this is a little fire kit. Uh, so we're going to do a video on these over here on Rando Survivor. Uh, there was something else. Oh, and I know it's not going to fit, but I got another gun cleaning kit. I got this from Academy. Man. It was less than 20 bucks. I remember it was less than 20 bucks. I don't remember the exact price. Uh, I always say I'm going to write down the prices before I do these videos, and then I never do. Uh, but it's a Hops gun cleaning kit, deluxe gun cleaning kit. Uh, and I know that's probably not pronounced Hops. In fact, I think it's pronounced Hoppies or something like that. But we're just going to call it Hops. It's the uh, Universal Rifle Pistol Shotgun Kit. We'll do a video on it. We'll unbox it, do a first impressions review on it, see what it, you know, consists of, see what's in there. I'm hoping there's oil and everything. I haven't opened it yet, so. But we'll do a video on it when we do. I don't know. I think, uh, probably the pellets, believe it or not, were my favorite find, because I'm really anxious to shoot those and see what they'll do, because I can shoot those in the backyard. <laughs> you know, I don't have to go to the gun range to shoot those and spend a bunch of money, so. We'll do a, uh, ammo test on these and see how they work 
see if they work any better than an actual pellet. Maybe we'll try a couple different kinds. I know I have a couple different kinds, so try them side by side and see what they do. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.